Good morning, everyone. We're starting the live video a little bit early this morning. Um, hopefully, everyone's able to join us. We welcome you. We're going to start with some beautiful kitties here. And this is Goldilocks. She is a short hair, brown tabby. She was a basement kept girl, so she's just learning to be a kitty. And um, she's in my office. So when you come to visit the kitties, it's not only all the kitties that are in the cat gallery, but ask to see the kitties that are in the offices because we do have some that work that seem to do better in an office. So this is, like I said, this is Goldilocks and she is a real sweetheart. She, these are a bonded pair. This is Goldie. Goldie is a brown tabby, a long haired brown tabby, more Maine Coon like I would say. And then Goldilocks is like a short hair, slinky spotted kitty. And she has beautiful green eyes and is a talker. And she loves her office mate. These two are just wonderful kitties together. Just wonderful kitties. And like I said, they're learning to be kitties. They um, were living in a basement. So, yeah, weren't you? So they're coming around and every day is a little bit more. So if you're interested in adopting them, well, they have to go together. So then we have, and one of them's five in that office and the other one is eight. Then we have Miss Lily in here. Lily's a, an eight-year-old kitty, senior kitty. So if you're interested in adopting senior kitties, they're more settled, a little bit calmer around the house. They're, you don't have to go chasing after them to correct them. They already have their little manners. And she is around here somewhere. Where are you? Where are you, Lily? Come on, Lily. Come on, baby. And there's Miss Lily. She is a brown tabby and white. She is a really pretty girl. Lily, good morning. Say good morning. You're on live on video. Yes. Come here, pretty girl. Okay, it's feeding time. And it's feeding time in here. Um, we're uh, open 10 to 6 today, so we're all a little bit later getting in. And so she is kind of used to her office mate being here on time um, at 8, before 8. And when we're late like this, it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to put the phone down because I'm going to feed this baby. And then, and I'm still going to keep talking. She likes dry food. She's a really neat cat, very special. Um, she does not really care for other cats. She does get along with the dog. One of her office mates is a dog, and he is very cat savvy. And she loves that. She loves that dog. Um, he doesn't chase her. He just kind of hangs out, and that's the best way to describe it. Um, and she to is very tolerant of that. So you can see her, she's eating. She eats mostly dry food. Once in a while she'll have a snack on some um, canned food. And she eats um, I am, uh, urinary tract health. We like to keep the kitties on, those, on that kind of health as they get a little bit older. But she is an absolute beautiful kitty, a wonderful kitty, a sweet kitty. Does best as an only cat and does best with a cat savvy person. Um, and let's see what else we have about her. She needs a quiet home, just like the two in my office. Okay, and then we have, in this office, we have two other kitties. And um, they are Tomato, brown tabby and white. He's about eight months old. And then we have a beautiful black and white kitty and they're uh, buddies but they're not necessarily bonded. Hey pretty! And they, this one likes to climb. Hi! Good morning! Good morning and you've already, you guys already been fed. Hello! And they are beautiful. So if you're interested, again we're open today from 10 until 6. So if you're interested, um, I would encourage you to come over. You need to fill out a pre-screen to visit with any of our animals and have an approved pre-screen to do so. And once you have that, um, you'll be able to visit with the kitties or a dog if you're interested. 
10 to 6 today. Um, and we will close the, the dog gallery a little bit early on some of those days because what we do is we have the second feedings. So if we did put that information on our website. So it's important that you um, take a look at the website and see that. We also have on the website information about um, the pre-screens and it's important that you read that. The pre-screens are um, you have to have, if you have cats, ferrets, or dogs in your home, you have to be up to date on your rabies. And then, if you live in the county, you have to have an Anne Arundel County license that can only be given here at Anne Arundel County Animal Care and Control. Uh, your vets don't necessarily know about it, and they certainly can't give it out. So, please make sure um, that you understand that and read that. And again, our dog gallery closes at 2 p.m. daily not three, and then in the case when we're open it's at um, till six, we reopen the, ga the dog gallery at three. All right, this is Banjo. We're gonna look at the dog gallery now, and this Banjo's a pit bull mix, found as a stray, two years old, beautiful tan. Uh, applications are being accepted. This is Blueberry, available for adoption. He was given up by his owner, and he's about six months old. We already have pre-screens on him, so double check to make sure um, how many pre-screens are them. This is beautiful Bonnie. She is very lovely. She's a pit bull mix, uh, about 62 pounds. Applications are being accepted on her. This is Carly. She's a terrier dachshund mix, about nine years old given up by by the owner the owner um the owner actually passed away and the person that inherited them gave the um dogs up and she is bonded with sandy this is cc um cc actually was adopted yesterday and went home um so she is a seven-year-old york yorkshire terry who went home to live with another uh dog so she is has been adopted and that was yesterday Daisy. Daisy's a pit bull mix, three years old, 44 pounds. Volunteer says very playful, excitable, sweet pup, ready to go on a ride home. And that person fell in love with him. This is Diesel. Very strong lab mix, all around friendly boy. Seems housebroken, given up by owner. He's about 10 years old and he's about 94 pounds. So when you're looking at these dogs, um, try to consider your lifestyle and, what, and whether you're going to walk them or, or have a yard, because certainly a strong dog like that could pull you over. This is Dino, pit bull mix, four or five years old, 70 pounds, uh, really nice boy. This is Dragon. Dragon's a gorgeous pup who is a dream to walk if you like walking. Stops and sits when you stop, seems to be very housebroken. It's a lab pit mix, given up by owner about four years old. Then we have Earl. Earl is a beagle, 16 years old, um, given up by owner and is in a foster home. So if the one, if they're in a foster home, what you need to do is see the front desk and then they can arrange for the foster to bring the dog in. This is um, also a beagle, about eight years old, 16 pounds. She's about eight years old. She was given up by owner asked to meet her. She's a lovely little lady. This is Holland. Holland is a pit bull mix, about a year old. Loves kids, sometimes jumps up when easily corrected, but is easily corrected. And with a little training would be a super dog. But again, you have to devote that time um, and training and he'll be an awesome family dog. This is Homer. Um, he's the epitome of a chill pup. He's about three years old. He is in a foster home. So if you'd like to meet him, contact the front counter and they will set up a time for you to meet him. This is Honey Bun. Honey Bun is a pit bull mix, about three years old, uh, 38 pounds, found as a stray and is in a foster home. Sometimes we put them in a foster home. Doesn't mean they're gonna be adopted by the foster, but they're in a foster home because uh, they don't do well in a cage, loud cage setting like we have here at the shelter. This is Jameson about four-year-old male Yorkie, about seven pounds, found as a stray. 
and we have Margo. Margo is a Shibu Inu, Inu mix. She's a butterfly waiting to come out of her cocoon. Um, she's about 48 pounds. She's 11 years old. It's Mariposa. Mariposa is a pit bull mix, about three years old. And you can see she's in a foster home. And look at the little um, pup that's behind her. So she gets along with dogs well, and they walk well on the leash together. Then we have Merc, pit bull mix, about a year and a half old, 40 pounds. More patience you show, the more trusting this dog becomes and more affectionate he grows. He res responds to uh, routine and training. So this is Mikey. Mikey is a pit bull mix. Loves to carry around dried sweet potato treats for an entire walk and then only eats the treat after his walk is over. He is a pit bull mix. This is Mo, also a pit bull mix. Lovely, handsome two-year-old, 63 pound. Nice dog, very strong. Takes Superman-like leaps into the air to catch the balls. He, so if you have an athletic lifestyle, he would be perfect for you. This is a Jack Russell mix, Nola, female. Found as a stray, available for adoption. Asked to meet her. And then we have Nova, is a friendly, happy, confident, and can settle herself, likes to cuddle with you in a chair, gentle taking treats, does not react to other dogs or loud noises, does well with meeting uh, other social dogs. Um, this is Peep. Peep. Peep is a pit bull mix, six months old, shy little gal, sweet as candy, needs patience. Um, but look at the other dog hugging her. And uh, <laughs> that's just too adorable. This is Rebel. Rebel is a pit bull mix, also in a foster home. And our shelter is overcrowded so with dogs, so we try to put them in a foster home. It doesn't mean the foster is going to adopt them. We usually put on here foster is uh, it's a foster to adopt home. This is Sammy, a foxhound mix, about three years old, given up by owner. Adoption fees are already paid. Applications are accepted. Asked to meet him. Here is a Samson. He's a cockapoo. Received a haircut at the shelter because he was much shaggier when he was found. He's about three to four years old. He is in a foster home. Applications are being accepted. Asked to meet him. This is Sandy. She's a little dachshund mix, seven years old. This is the one who's bonded with Carly. And her owner passed away. And there you see the two of them together. Carly's on the left and Sandy on the right. Then you have Secretariat, Pitbull Mix, three years old. Like his namesake, he's a great runner. So if you have a, a very active lifestyle, he might be your perfect running buddy. Then we have Simba. Simba's a Rottweiler Cane Corso Mix, about three years old, 124 pounds, given up by owner. Then... Um, we have Snowball. Snowball is a pit bull mix, about three years old. Um, the only brown he has on him is on the outside of his left ear, and he's about 66 pounds, three years old. Handsome boy. Sonic is a pit bull mix, sweet pup, strong for his size, uh, aims to please, responds well to correction, about a year old, found as a stray. And this is Tapioca. Tapioca is a shepherd, a little female. Eight, well, she was eight weeks in the picture. She's about 10 weeks now. She's much heavier and bigger. And, and uh, she is in a foster home. Her foster mom works um, here. So you, if you want to meet this little baby doll, most of the time she has her with her. This is Whoop, a shepherd type mix. Eight years old, 59 pounds, given up by owner. Beautiful female shepherd. This is Wispy. Wispy's beautiful pit bull mix, about three years old, 51 pounds. Beautiful cocoa brown and white. Really pretty girl. And we have Xavier. Xavier's a pit bull mix. Um, American Bulldog, uh, five years old. Playful, affectionate, loves to have his back scratched and loves to snuggle. 
available for adoption asked to meet handsome Xavier. And here we have Yogi, an eight to nine year old lab, found as a stray, he's about 102 pounds, big guy. Then we have Zeus. Zeus is a pit bull type mix, um, 55 pounds, about six years old, found as a stray. I'd say he looks like a pit bull and beagle mix to me. And we're back with Zuko. Zuko is a pit bull mix, nine years old, 48 pounds, in a foster home, settles in nicely, gaining weight, skin's improving, and he's a really sweet boy. Then um, we have Trey. Trey is an eight-month-old male, um, up to date on vaccines and preventives. He's house trained. His foster mom says he loves to ride in the car, loves hikes and walks. Again, you can ask the counter about meeting up with these dogs. Um, they would love to uh, have the fosters bring them in so you could meet with them. And you can watch our virtual tour of Anne Arundel County. Uh, Animal Care and Control Facebook page, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Um, again, our dog gallery closes to the public from 2 to 3 p.m. Staff gives their dog their second meals. And individual dogs can still be met outdoors during that time. So fill out that pre-screen. Get that pre-screen approved so that you can meet with the dog. Otherwise, you're just able to see them. And pre-screen has to be completely approved for you to meet with them. And once that happens, um, you'll be able to meet with the dogs. And usually on the weekends when we're real busy, we might do a limit of two, two dogs. And that's it, uh, meeting with two dogs. Now we're in the cat gallery, and we're going to take a look at some of the beautiful kitties that they have available. And we have Hardy. Hardy is black with a little bit of white. He's about two years old. He's 11 pounds. Hi, baby. Hey. Hi. Oh, you're so pretty, but you're nervous, aren't you? Beautiful gold eyes. Solid black as I see it. He must have a little bit of white somewhere because they're saying he does. But he's very pretty. Young kitty. And then we have Will. Will is um, feline leukemia positive, so he would have to be an only cat. Um, he is, has been neutered, and he is a brown tabby. He's only about two years old, but by letting him uh, be outside, he became positive, but he is a really a sweet, sweet cat, so we're hoping we can get him adopted. Um, again, he could go as an only cat. Just because he's feline leukemia positive doesn't mean he's going to actually get the disease and, you know... Um, succumb to it unless he's like maybe 16 or 17 years old when their immune system gets a little weak then it might resurface itself but he is he does have it he does come out positive but he's a happy kitty and he a pretty boy he's a pretty boy so handsome pretty pretty eyes pretty green eyes and this is will we're hoping he's about nine pounds we're hoping someone can come in and find a place in their heart and home to adopt him this is Roxy. She's very shy and scared. Um, she's getting ready for her dental. She's a torty tiger in white, long hair. She's a very pretty girl, eight years old. Hi, sweetheart. You are beautiful. Yes. Yes. Hi, sugar. Hi. Hi. Yes, you need your dental. She's a beauty. So she has her dental scheduled for Thursday. Hi, sugar. <gasps> Pretty girl. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you're a good girl. Then we have Ace. Ace is white and gray. He's about 13 years old. Um, he is um, about 12 pounds. And I'm going to say he was probably a give up. Yeah, he was given up, and he's not real happy right now. Hi, baby. Yeah. 
here. We're trying to get him to eat. I think he probably just came in. And this is a beautiful brown patch tabby in white named Koi. We're calling her a calico tiger, and that's a good way to describe her. Um, she's about four years old, about 10 pounds high. Beautiful girl. Yes, you are. <gasps> what a pretty girl. Yeah, the pretty girl. <gasps> I see the paw coming out. Yeah, come on. Come on, baby. And she also is FIV positive. The other one is FEL positive. She is FIV. So again, anyone wanting to adopt um, a kitty as an only kitty, it would be great if you could open your heart to one of these kitties and have these diseases that um, probably don't surface until the immune system uh, becomes under attack, usually when they get a little bit older. This is Sunny. She doesn't like dogs, and she likes an adult-only home, and she is white with black, black uh, markings, and she's about a year old. Hi, sweetheart. She does like people, and she wants to touch the phone. Hello, baby. Hi. 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 Hi, sugar. Hi. Oh, you got sharp claws. We got to clip those claws. Yeah. You want to make bread on with everybody? Yeah. You are really pretty. And then we have this beauty. She is Tessia, and she is a calico with white. Hi. Or a torty with white. Well, hi, sugar. Come on, say hello to me. Come on. Come on, you remind me of my Miss Paws, who is doing great, by the way, for everybody who been following Miss Paws. She's in her home with her, her dad, and uh, she is doing quite well. She actually lost a pound. So this girl is about 11 and a half pounds. Come here, sugar. Come here, show your pretty face. She has intense an intense face, just like Miss Paws did. Then we have one that's scheduled for surgery here. And then this is a Quest. It's a, a eight month old little boy. Um, beautiful gray, soft gray. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Again, we have to go slow because some of these kitties are, um, he was just altered on 328. So he's ready to go. Um, he's just shy. They're scared. We don't know too much about them sometimes, even if, even when they are given up. We only know what the people tell us. But you don't know how they were handled or how they were treated or whatever. And this baby is Heidi. She came in with Hobbit. She's a tortoiseshell. And she's a real sweetheart. Aren't you? You are so pretty. Yes, you are. Yes, look how pretty you are. With all your pretty colors on the face and your body just swirls and swirls like someone painted you. Yes, you're just so beautiful. Yes, and she's eight years old. And then we have this boy, this is Hobbit, and this is the one Heidi came in with, but they're not bonded. Heidi, you're just beautiful, I, want, I like you, yeah. The good girl, you're just a love bug. You're just a love bug with, you've got some intense green eyes, gr girlfriend. Oh my, they're almost like grass green. She is really pretty. This is Hobbit. Hobbit is solid black, eight years old also. Um, it doesn't say anything about them being bottom. He is a big boy, he is 25 pounds. So if you're looking for one to put on a leash and walk, I'm just joking, but he is a big boy. He's as big as a small dog. Oh my, and beautiful green eyes as well. Come here, sweetie. Come here, look, look up here. They're like a, a green, a, oh yeah, he's gorgeous. And eight years old, he was used to his home just like she was. So now they're kind of stuck in a cage and they need to go to a home. They need to go to a home of their own where they can live out their lives. And this is 
Otto. Otto was uh, is a gray tiger um, and white. And the reason she was named Otto, she has one, he has one pre-screamed. He was found in an auto store in a car, uh, so, or outside of an auto store. Actually had a little bit of grease on her paws, on his paws. Hi, sweetheart. And this is another love bug right here. Look at that love bug. But like I said, it has one pre-screen. But sometimes people change their mind, so we've had lots of people change their mind several times. Hi, baby. You're saying hello. Oh, yeah, look at you. Would you knock my phone off offline? So even though there's one pre-screen, I would still encourage you to submit um, your pre-screen on them. And if um, the first person takes it, well, takes the cat, then that's fine. Um, you can move your pre-screen to another one. This is Duckling. Duckling's a year old, about 11 pounds. And it's a light brown tabby in white. Hey, sweetie. And he's sound asleep. Sleepy boy. I see the tail twitching. And this is Felix. This is a brown tabby. He does not like to be picked up, and he can get a bit uh, grabby. Hi, sweetheart. I don't think so. Yeah, hi, baby. Hi. Hi, hello. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Yes, you're just a typical kitty. You're a big guy, 15 pounds. Hi, babe. You gonna grab the phone, huh? I don't think you're grabby. I think you gotta be a cat, cat savvy for you. That's all. I think that's what it is. You have to be cat savvy. So some of these cats, have, you, you, they're not first-time kitties for first-time owners. Um, they're for people who've had cats before and understand the cat mentality and the cat disposition, I guess. Because um, sometimes cats have to have a qu very quiet home. They don't like the barking of dogs. They don't like the screaming of and laughter of kids. And sometimes they don't like the loud TVs and things like that or loud radios. They like soft music like we're playing in here now. And that music helps to drown out the sound of the dogs if the dogs bark. But um, so try to think about your lifestyle and what kind of kitty you like. And the volunteers can certainly help you pick out one that would fit with your family. And that's real important because they work with them every day and they talk to them every day, talk to the kitties every day, talk to the dogs every day, they walk the dogs. They do more interacting with them sometimes than the staff does because the staff does the feedings and the vol volunteers help out with them. But the other thing is that in addition to that, the, um, the volunteers interact every day, day in and day out with all of the babies. So now we're going to head into the critter room and we have some wonderful little guinea pigs that are screaming already. Hi baby. Hi. Hi honey. This is Fudge and, and Florence and they got they haven't been cleaned yet so they're screaming because they're hungry. Yeah you ate all your hay. And these two, this is Rocky and Thor. Hi, babies. I'm, I'll get you some carrots or something. Yeah, I'll get you something until they come in and clean you. These two guys, these two are bonded, Rocky and Thor. When they come in like that, you have to get both of them. And this is Fudge and Felicity, they're buds. Um, And then we have charcoal and licorice down here. Hi, guys. Hi, babies. Hi. Hi. And this is soy. This is a bunny, gray bunny. And they haven't been cleaned yet either because we're, we're, it's a late day for us today. And this is Peter Cottontail. Hi, baby. It's like a beautiful... Um, blue and cream swirls. Yes. Very compact bunny. And then we have this guy who's um, 
our resident rat and he is a white albino and I don't see his name his name card on here he must have eaten it off hi sweetie what'd you do with your card it was on there yesterday hi hi honey he's very friendly very friendly he has all this good stuff that came with him And then we have these two beautiful girls, Felicity and she, they, and Francine, and they are bonded. Hi, sweethearts. Hi. Hi. Hi, girls. You remember me because I gave you carrots yesterday. <laughs> yeah. You remember me because I gave you carrots yesterday, didn't I? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Hi, babies. I'm coming, and you remember me over here, and here are the, some more bunnies. And they remember me because I gave them carrots yesterday. This is Oakley. Hi, sweetheart. I know you're waiting on your carrot. I know. I didn't bring it in with me. This is a bonded uh, rabbit with Thea. And Theo, rather. And Theo is a boy, and he's a lop ear. So those two have to go together, and they are sweethearts. You can see him standing up waiting for his carrot, which I didn't bring in at the moment because I'm doing the live. And then we have Donnie. Hi, sweetheart. And he is um, black and white, but he's got albino eyes. He's very pretty. Big boy. I don't think there's anybody up here. So, like I said, if you are interested, I'm coming, guys. And you can hear the sounds of the guinea pigs. I love the sounds of them. Hi, sweetie pies. Hi, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll be back. All right, so please come visit us. Come take a look at all the goodies we have um, for pets. If you have it in your heart, we certainly have some beautiful animals here to, that we're ready to adopt out to you. Make sure you fill that pre-screen out and bring all the necessary paperwork like your rabies certificates. And it has to be an updated rabies certificate. And then also make sure that you bring, um, if you have any, if you're leasing or renting your home, make sure you bring that lease or rental agreement, especially if you're getting a dog uh, or a cat. Um, you have to be able to show that you don't have any breed restrictions in those areas or that you uh, a size or weight restriction so we hope you enjoyed the presentation and we hope to see you today we're open 10 to 6 today we are closed um on friday but we are open on thursday 10 to 3 and we are back open on saturday so only day we're closed is good friday and then of course we're going to be closed on monday so today 10 to 6 Thursday, 10 to 3, closed Friday, good, which is Good Friday. And then Saturday, we're open 10 to 3 again. And then we're closed Sunday and Monday. So I thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.